Hello, this is Divine Sunshine coming to you with Sankofa Fast Forward. This video is for uh, Virgos. The purpose for fast for uh, Sankofa Fast Forward is to help you to understand that you can use your past loved ones as a resource and a guide to help you on your own twin flame journey. Um, the beautiful thing about using a uh, past loved one is that they have your best interest at heart. They are a loved one that loved you. They had the human experience and also that they have through their life review, they're able to see what things that they had did wrong in their own life and apply what they have learned because now they come from a place of pure unconditional love as far as how they're able to be able to help you. So that is why I created this um series of this feature so it can be able to help us as we're moving forward onto our own union with self and union uh on the outside with our divine counterparts clear all right then so virgo let's see what past loved one is helping and guiding you uh in for the month of april right now let's see Got two of them. Two stepped up to the plate. Okay, we got an Aunt Caroline and we got a Dr. Grant. Okay. Now, this Aunt Caroline I'm picking up is like your, could be your mother's sister, or could also be your grandmother's sister. Uh, this is what I'm picking up, because this person, whoever it is, they carry a, spe a spirit of being very wise. Uh, somebody would say like an old soul, if they are younger uh, with this. Um, they like some of them tell me, like I I ain't like taking no pictures too much. You know, if you got what they older, they would not like pictures too much. Uh, I want to see who this Doctor Grant is. This person to me with this bag means they had some burdens. They were enslaved about something. This man. Uh, that's what I pick up for this because anytime I see a bag, I'm sorry, I didn't show you. Okay. Uh, those two. But I see almost like graveyard. So whatever it is, they took this burden with them to the graveyard. All right, they took it to them with the, to the grave. So hopefully they maybe when they did that, I, I've just seen that. They had, um, mm, this person was a loner. Okay, let's talk about Aunt Carol first. Caroline. Okay, this aunt was also psychic. She knew this as a child. She's a good counselor, a good person that you can come to for advice. She's a good cook. She was very well resourceful, like she was industrious. She could do resources She on her own. She might have owned some property as well. says she could also be a person that had started from rags to riches so she started off with nothing and then uh as went on she she uh she ended up having money okay that's how but this person when they came through it told me they want too much of a thing of a 
They not too uh they ain't too happy about pictures, taking pictures though. Okay, we got this Dr. Graham purse. Now this person here was this says the hermit card. So this person like to spend time by himself. <laughs> I don't know why I pick up it said uh conjure he used uh uh conjure doctor he used herbs and other supplies they said to me i know it's about to be say he might have liked to you have a little marijuana a little smoke a little weed every now and then but uh <laughs> okay that's say true that divine truth i got a glint on that one Yeah, he enjoyed his time of being alone, though. And that might be why he said maybe I like to smoke a little weed every now and then. Because I like to kind of just like relax my mind a little bit. He had some, like I said, he had some burdens. I ain't say he's burdened down. But whatever these burdens that he had, and that's one reason why... He liked to smoke is because that helped to calm him down. But he took some burdens. He's still saying, I took some burdens to the grave. And they're popping stuff in here. Uh, he could be like them one, like uh, Rasta, uh, not not Rasta fan, but like had dreads or something like that. He had like a, like a free... Flowing exp uh, thing, exp um, spirit on some things. So they kind of like a little bit different as night and day. But this aunt here, like I said, mother, aunt, uh, sister to a mother or grandmother. Self-made, money, had spiritual gifts as well, uh, knows things spiritually. Uh, very good cook. Said people would, I guess, tease her that they would pay for her stuff. And then we got also, we got this man here that's like, could be hippie-like. Or, you know, like you said, I could do a little kind of marijuana, some weed to kind of mellow me out. Uh, but had some burdens. He still, I still see that bag and that burdens there. And he took it with him to the grave. All right, let's see what's the heart of the matter according to these two. What they say is the heart of the matter for you, uh, Virgo. What's the heart of the matter for you? I'm like, who? Ah, and there's so many. Forgiving and learning. Okay, all right. They said, well, you being a Virgo, clear, I know you all are very particular and perfectionist on things like this. And maybe you thought that something should have happened a certain way and may or may not have happened. So forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Especially from this, uh, the, you might say uncle. Well, he could be uncle, wherever he is, uncle. Uh, I'm picking up uncle. So she's the aunt and I'm picking up he might be an uncle like that or... Uh, cool cousin um, no I don't pick it like his father because he's a little too free spirited uh, with that he's like I got yeah I got kids of my own but no you know they like really cool like you know all I keep on seeing is like dreads and like a shirt like cool t-shirts like that or if he was like that he remind me of uh, the common comedic um, parent Ching Ching Chong, both of them is kind of like uh, free, spirited, kind of like um, that. So again, uh, forgiving and learning. They say you need to do this because, again, in your emotions, you need to be able to build. And right now, with you not being able to forgive and learn, it's crumbling, they're saying. You're not able to really be free about it. Uh, the aunt is saying in so many words, you know, uh, you want to build on things and you can't keep on harboring things like that because she's like, I know from my experience, 
uh, about that, that, you know, in order, she's saying, she's more so talking about the physical world and how you be able to build on things and how that stops you from being able to manifest. And this uncle uh, that's here with the free-flowing, I call it still dreads, uh, kind of like uncle is like he's saying, you know, you got to be free. You got to be, you got to go with the flow and you want to build on that and you want things to happen naturally. And so in order for you to honor your emotions, you got to be able to forgive and learn, you know, on that. Although he said, yeah, I did take some burdens to the grave with me. But like you said, uh, I said earlier about the life review, he could see what the errors of his ways was and what he should have done differently on some of those burdens that he taken for him. He's like, the thing is not on me, it's on this person. I got you, it's on who I'm, you trying to help my niece or my nephew. And I got that. Uh, and so that, cause he's like, just like a typical man, like get off of me, let's go on all that emotional stuff, go over there to them. Uh, so that's what's the heart of the matter. What is uh, the things that you're hiding? Virgo. Trying to feel kind of light. I guess so. That's it. I'm missing something. I guess not. Okay. Temple of your body. Okay. So, according to definitely with this uh, guy here, uh, the uncle, the cool dude, like dude, uh, he could be like a surfer, like a surfer uncle, like like back in the day, like a, a what a. Oh, Lord, I can see him now. Jesus Christ. Like, surfer, like, really, like, Malibu. Like, yeah, dude, you know, like, but older. He didn't became, he's got that kind of free spirit to me. That's running the cross. Uh, he's like, you know, your temple, your body, you know, that's why I kind of take me some, have me some marijuana, some, some weed to kind of, like, help me with my mind, kind of relax it. Again, it look like they say, uh, he's saying, you so tense, you so tense. And you're so serious about things that you kind of like, Rah! a lot of things, you got them claws out all the time. And, you know, you don't let people get close to you, you know. Uh, and he keep on saying, don't worry about me, you know, don't use me. I might sound like a hypocrite. Don't use me as no gauge about what's going on with you now. But, you know, he's like, I've seen the error of my ways and you need to be free. I was free, too. And that's why I kind of pulled back on some things. But I want you to be free all the time. He's saying to me that you kind of got your guard up at all times on things. Uh, this Aunt Caroline is saying, you know, uh, your temple, you know. Um, she like, she kind of in agreement with what he's saying. She's letting kind of let this uncle kind of right really take kind of the dominant of the things. But what... Okay, aunt, speak up. There's like you can't, she's saying you can't be guarded all the time because you will have a hard time letting people in. Okay. And, you know, that really truly is supposed to be in. And I'm in agreement. I say that all the time uh, about that. And so then, you know, Saying that you have like some old suspicious ways because I'm thinking and I'm very drawn to this picture. And I remember back in the day, uh, people used to didn't like to take pictures because they believed that the pictures would capture the person's soul um, in there. All they was doing was just capturing the moment uh, in there. But I remember um, some people saying that. And that's the same thing that they're saying now. Um with this is the, having the understanding that she's saying sometimes your thoughts are very, uh, I think about that spiritual and religion card, is a factor to stop you from on this journey because you are so religiously thinking about a certain way or a certain thing, or how I should be habitually thinking on this thought and your spiritual factors that you so kind of like, straight lace or it's got to be this way because spirit says or spirituality or religion says it has to be this way and they want you to be kind of more open-minded and you so guarded on that so that's something that they say you think you're hiding but they see uh that is actually a, an issue uh for you what life changes do they see that you need to have Okay. 
take the next step now, right? Which is the next step to them will say again, forgiving and learning, putting down the guard uh, on that. Um, she was like, for you, she said, she's seen that you might want me to clarify. Hey, I don't know who this is. So it's like, cause you, I could feel you kind of like, what, what is it that I'm guarding? And what's the reason why, clear, that I'm guarding? <laughs> Against too many cards. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, and they say they want me to clarify for you because something about you is kind of a little skeptical. Okay, the thing is that you're the woman that's holding in your uh, heart, which means, again, you being able to, you have control over your heart as to how you're able to handle your heart. You also have the temple of your heart, I guess, because, again, you're guarding it. You want to transform. You see this third eye was opening up into that to be able to blossom and to take flight and to be able to open and ascend to go to the next level. You want to transform where you are and see yourself in a much larger scope when it comes to love as well. And they're saying sometimes you got to be vulnerable. Some of them they're saying, uh, according to this divine, uh, this masculine, okay, I don't know if he's divine, uh, with this basket, which is the uncle that's kind of like that dude, surfer guy, dread, open, kind of like free love, cool uncle. He's saying, you know, he wants you to be not like this, like promiscuous, 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 but he wants you more in a, like a free. He's like, you see how she's free and just open how she is and, you know, just like the hippies back in the 60s kind of thing. He wants you to kind of go and just express yourself like that. You know, just be nice and flowy. Wear flowy clothes. Maybe like sometimes he say you be wearing suits or things that don't look like they advertise to the outside that you free. You know, I think about somebody that said that to me. One time is talking about, you know, uh, I think I was in college and the guy was telling me about, you know, when you're going on first dates, you got to watch what you have on because you don't want to send the wrong signal to the guy. And, you know, some things you want not to be fitted, but just fit it right. You know, you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose, too baggy. And he was saying to him, it's like, you know, the way you present yourself to the world and to others really tell them. So if you got things that look like it's stiff and staunchy, it don't look like you kind of free with how you're expressing yourself in love. It's like, you know, sometimes you all got all black in your wardrobe. He's like, pop, put some pop of color up in there. Do something else with that. And so then also... Uh, you, you're kind of really protective and not allowing your b abundance to blossom. That's in everything because you being so perfectionist that they're saying that I'm just picking up the word that you're just so very perfectionist. You're just very protective and you want things to be a certain way and you're so stubborn. You don't allow things to kind of have without control. So you want your blossom. Blossom means let it open and unfold and envelop, uh, on its own time. Uh, abundance is everything. Your health, your relationships, whatever. Uh, excuse me, that's release. If I belch, that means you got to release. So that's one thing that you got to uh, be able to do. What things do you have to surrender? So, uh, speaking of surrender. <laughs> excuse me. What is it that you got to surrender? Clear. The need to always be right. Is that in there? <laughs> oh, no. Uh-uh. Ain't that one. Thought it was. Surrender frustration. This might come from this card here, the temple of your body. Okay, surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Okay? All right, then. So, this is um, you're probably frustrated because, again, you want things to be done in a certain way. And they say they see the frustration in you. And so, they just want you to surrender and to let that go. Okay, next thing they have is surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself, focus on your own strengths, and attract the disempower. That goes on to this forgiving and learning because, again, to me, you're concentrating a lot about other people 
comparing yourself, you know, they didn't do this, they didn't do that right, and to me, that's also comparing as well. Uh, and so, in for learning how to forgive and learn, you got to learn how to be able to uh, stop the comparison about what other people did and what they should have done and those two things, okay? What is your divine... Uh, They did that. Excuse me. You're divine. They really want you to stop the comparison. That came flying over to me. Clear. What is your divinity that you should be working with? Openness. Be open. That don't surprise me that they pulled that for you. You need to be open. You need to learn how to be able to be one with your imperfections and your perfection. I think about black and white. This is purity. It's full uh, absence of any imperfections that go on. Learn how to be okay with that. Learn how to be okay with your shadow and your uh, light. Uh, the good, the bad, you know, uh, those things. So that you can be able to open up into your own enlightenment. Because through enlightenment, you got to learn how to be able, okay, with both sides uh, as well. Uh, the next one, I want to know what energies do they see that, that you're moving into? Clear? Okay. Uh, you kind of silent, but you, I guess you're saying this uncle is kind of saying it all. Okie dokie. Woo. The energies that they see sources moving you to is really taking an introspection and seeing of how what you are doing as far as she's got the color red that you really grounded and rooted in. And what you got to do is now find you a new way to be grounded and rooted in that. I see these crows here. There's a lot of things in life that's been hollering out. There's a problem. Uh, I always think about saying with crows three times. Uh, that one crows is also a signal to let you know. A warning of something that's going on. And I see the spirit here coming here and kind of shooing, ushering. Uh, swooping in into those things so maybe those crows things is a lot of negative thinking a lot of things is kind of like really gawking you know because sometimes when crows get to dog, they can be a kind of annoying all that loud noise that they're doing as well and you know understanding that you know there's always even where you are it's a soft place to land which again is is what they're saying take time out from self the uncle is saying go back you say, you know, my big thing again, I have me a little weed, take me a little toke or whatever so I can be able to kind of mellow out and I will retreat from the world. And this helped me to kind of reset myself. This is the same thing that they're saying as well. The aunt is pretty much uh, saying the same thing is this understanding. She's a really one of few words. So you just got to stop worrying and you got to stop keeping yourself in that mind space. Because if you do, you'll never be able to move forward. You'll never be able to prosper. And you'll never be able to bring in the abundance. She said, I'm the one who bought the abundance card out, this aunt. She said, I seen that as a problem. Um, there as far as uh, why you had this temple of your body issues. Okay. Then the next thing then they have here again the crows. Then the crows to me for me will be more so of negative thinking. Again, you got to look and take a hard introspective look. Both of them are in agreement with that as far as how you keep yourself in bondage with these negative thinking. You got a very overactive Virgo crown chakra. Whoever this one is for, this is resonating for. You got a very overactive crown chakra that's keeping you because I hear these crows and they stand right here in this area. They ain't talking no place else. They right here. All of this stuff. So you got to learn how to kind of be able to take that and free you because this is more so of a mental thing. Uh, how you do that, again, drop yourself down lower 
into your uh, lower um, chakras, which would be your solar plexus, so you can stand in your authority. You got your um, sacral, which is being creative and how you connect to others, and your root chakra, so you can be able to get grounded and rooted in things, so you can manifest this new beginning. This is where they're seeing you being pushed to. Okay, and what is the message? Clear. What is the message that both of them have for you? Whoa. You are here for a reason. This, what they bring to me is like this point, this magical moment in time where you are, I think by Nubian um, news, this is a reason why you've been brought to this point right now where you are on this journey, this apex, as they say to me, because this is helping you to understand that you've got to stop, take introspection, and as your the uncle says here, or the cousin, or whoever this is, cool dude, says you got to take time out and just really like, you know, if you got to take you something to kind of ease it, some whatever it is that he like, he said, I like to smoke, whatever it is that you like to relax with, so it can help you to calm down and so you can be able to actually receive. Meditate. If you don't believe in that, doing what he's talking about, meditate. Do something. Listen to some 432 hertz music. I thought about that. I did that today to kind of mellow and bring you down. Do something that helps you to stop you from being so stressed out because you're stressing yourself out and because you're so frustrated with what's going on. And so that's why they say it's a reason for where you are because the universe and this reading is helping you to draw attention to that you got to stop and you got to try something new because, again, all these cards read um bound um, bounded by something okay and it's forgiving and learning is what you need to concentrate on so it can be able to get you out of these type of energies okay uh that is it oh this is how awesome uh i don't know if i can get it help me get the bottom of it okay they say they want me to give you an awesome card clear to kind of uplift you your energies, ooh, ooh, too many. Yeah, do some Jupiter 11, 11 crown chakra clearing or dream queen. Go for that because uh, that's what you need. Okay, there is only one you and you are important. Chuck Swindle, okay? Very good. All right, that's the end of your reading for you, uh, Virgo. Uh, if you would like your own individual to go more introspection to see about what uh, past loved one is for you, that's helping you. But this is the overall collective. This is the one and maybe somebody individualized, somebody else might want to step up. I am running a special for the month of April, which is for past loved ones. It's a four-card uh, draw reading. So that means that uh, would be, I will be, the first one would be as far as who is the loved one that's helping you personally. What is the heart of the matter that they see for your issue? Also, you would look into uh, what things are you hiding as well as they see that nobody else, but they see what's going on with you. And then also, um, what is the solution? Um, to your issues. So that means what things they think maybe might be to change, what things you might need to surrender, or they might even tell me uh, about what's the new energies that you're being pushed to. And that's going to help you to know what your solution is. Okay? All right. And this is today and tomorrow, which will be the 31st. If March will be the last of the DM and DF special. Oh, I'm sorry. The, um, the Sankofa Fast Forward special is eleven dollars and eleven cent. Uh, the the um, the DM special is twenty two dollars, uh, and that's a thirty minute reading. Uh, some of them been lasting longer than that. They went up to forty <laughs> minutes on that one. So depending on the experience, said no, I want you to give this information. They got to do it. So today and tomorrow is the last time. Go to divineunisouls eleven dot co. And so you can be able to book a reading for either the Sankofa Fast Forward Special or either the DM or DF Special, okay? All right, until next time, Virgo, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, namago. Love you.